Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Wrapped. This new open beta update available now for OnePlus 6 users. It is for the version 9 and the update size is 147 MB if you are running open beta 8. It's a very minor update if you check the change log, there's nothing much important here, but now you can migrate the data from your iPhone. Again, it's not something you only get with this open beta update. You can also get it with the stable ROM by updating the Switch app from the Google Play Store. OnePlus actually added this feature in November and back then if you had to migrate your data from an iPhone to a OnePlus phone, then you need to follow an extensive procedure to get it done and now let's see if they have changed anything in this case. Next they have added December security patch and some minor UI improvements for system and communication. So I have updated my phone via over the air directly. Let's go to settings about phone. As you can see the OS version is open beta 9 and now let's go to the Android settings. Android version is 9 pi. Security patch level is of December 1 and the build date is December 14. As you can see now they have updated the OnePlus Switch app from the Google Play Store and now if you try to migrate your data from an iPhone, it doesn't direct you to the community page for instructions. Instead now you can scan the QR code on iPhone app, connect to Wi-Fi hotspot and simply transfer the data within the OnePlus Switch app itself just like for Android phones. Next now there will be a toast message when panel apps are unavailable due to data corruption, added call history for incoming calls from unknown numbers and optimized UI for spam messages and calls. Apart from this they have also fixed the recent prey issue. With the previous open beta there was a strange issue, the clear all tabs button being unable to clear the OnePlus system apps from the memory and now as you can see it has been fixed. Moving on to the benchmarks, N22 version 7 score is 2,91,445, around 2k less than previous score. With Geekbench 4, single core and multi core scores are 2440 and 8973, slightly better scores compared to Open Beta 8. So that is all for now, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon.